Okay, animation could be really, really cool. Let's have a look. This is a magazine I created. Let's have a look at the animation. So, these are just buttons. They go to different pages in this magazine. So, let's go to the Dark Knight part. And have a look here. This animation is just different pictures popping up one at a time. So, they're just there's a picture of the Joker and just Joker cards popping up, popping up, popping up. And then the trailer for the Dark Knight plays. Um, so I'll just show you that again. Let's go back. Let's go to that page. Flip it over. And the animation starts again. And it's just a fade in and with timing. And I'll show you how I did that in a second, okay? Okay, a fade in with timing. So let's just go to my InDesign real quickly. Have a look. And just zoom into this page. They're all separate images. Even these little jokers, they're all separate images. And if I go to timing, you can see that I've got the Joker, which is this one. He comes up first. And these cards are on a little bit of a delay. So the Joker comes up first when the page loads, no delay. These cards are on a one second delay, one second delay, two second delay. And the other Joker cards come afterwards and a little bit of a delay for them. And then the trailer, this thing here, plays last in the timing. So on page load, all of these things load up and they're all fade-ins. So all I've done is clicked on an image, I've gone to animation and I've said fade-in on page load duration 6 seconds, play only once, hide until animated. You can even hide after it does its animation but if you want people to see it then make sure that's off. And then I've done it for all of them and then just gone into timing and reordered the timing I want. Um, delay some of them so they come afterwards and things like that. Okay, let's go back to my... I'll go to another page. So this Spider-Man page, I've got the trailer and real quickly just these spider webs. One, two and three, they pop up. Okay, we'll stop that. Let's go next. This here is this whole page is one image and then a second image exactly the same with just a bit of a glow here is appears on top of it and then a third image which is exactly the same with a brighter glow appears on top okay and let's just have a look at that in InDesign so it's just like this with the timing although there's actually this Iron Man page, this whole page was designed in Photoshop and I've got about four of them sitting on top of each other and my timing um, is basically Iron Man image comes on one second later or half a second later the next image, the next image, the next image so I've got one, two, three, four, five images and that shows like an animation of his um, blaster, hand blaster. Let's see that again. So I'll just go back at it. So it's just a few images going on top of each other to show off an animation. Um, another thing um, is these eyes glowing whenever the mouse goes over the top. And it's just two images sitting on top of each other and I made it an object state. So let's have a look at that. They're two identical images sitting on top of each other right here. And I'll just pull it apart so you can see. So there's the first image, there's the second image sitting on top of each other. And the object state. I just can't even see it. I'm 
just get rid of these so we can see it properly. Okay. And here is our object state. So I moved it a little bit, that's why it's a bit off. But yeah, so there's our object state and you know how to create that. And all I've got it as an animation saying that whenever, oh not an animation, sorry, a button saying that whenever the mouse rolls on the blue eyes, oh sorry, the, the gray eyes, that it should go to the next um, object's state, which is the blue eyes. And whenever the mouse rolls off, it goes back to the gray eyes. So it's just an object state with buttons for themselves that go to each other whenever the mouse goes in and out. So that's actually pretty easy as well. I can show you how to do that. Okay. Um, oh, this James Bond one, let me just show you that because that's the last one I want to show you. Okay. Here we've got a page here on the left that tells us about the new James Bond movie. Now over here on the right side, I've got one image. This is just one whole image here. But whenever I move the mouse over a particular part on the image, this left side changes. So if I move the mouse over the car, it tells us about the car. If I move the mouse over the title, it tells us about the movie. If I move the, the mouse over the gun over here, it'll tell us about the gun. If I move the mouse over James Bond's wristwatch, it tells us about the wristwatch. Um, okay, so different parts of this picture on the right show up on the left. And that's just um, object states with buttons. The exact same thing I showed you in the first tutorial video. So can you see these rectangular frames? Okay, so frames. And these rectangular frames I've put over certain areas of this James Pond image. And I've linked them with on rollovers. So people don't actually have to click on them. They can just go on rollover. And then these two changes. Now, these two, they're many, many text boxes on top of each other that I converted into an object state. And here are the states, different states. And this one also has different states. Okay, so when I move over a particular area, or you could make it so that if you click on a particular area, then this object state and this object state changes. You can also make it so that if someone moves their mouse over a particular area, that it plays a sound. You know, if, uh, if this is your silhouette and you've got four options and you go to click one and it's incorrect, maybe you hear a bob bob or if it's correct, maybe you hear a, you know, an applause or something like that. Anyways, that was it for um, animations. Um, just showing you what else you could create.